What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com. Well, the action continues at Belmont of the Big A on Sunday. We've got a really, really sharp race for you. We'll go all the way to race nine on this Sunday card, a very good card overall. It's the grade three pebble stakes going one mile, $150,000 purse for the Phillies, a three-year-old. So uh, we talked about earlier on our previews that the big races on Saturday for the three-year-old Phillies and the three-year-old males, for that matter, didn't draw very large, just six horse fields. We got a 12-horse field here, and that just seems to be the case. I don't know. I guess they like running for less money. But a 12-horse field here, uh, one of the big factors, they are going a mile, so a little bit more reasonable distance for horses in this country. But this one, you could go a lot of different ways. Uh, it's a truly wide-open race, probably a race if you're playing pick fours or pick fives. You're going to have to spread a little bit here. A lot of horses that make sense. I went with a number four, Faith and Humanity, to win in this spot for Chad Brown. Manny Franco aboard the horse on debut at Monmouth Park, July 24th. Looked great. Won uh, almost in gate wire fashion. Set off the lead a couple of links and just pounced after sitting second and won by a length and a quarter. Tried stakes company last time out from a Monmouth special weight to a stakes at Saratoga. That's a big jump up. Only the second race for this horse. I thought she ran fantastic for all those things being considered. Was second, only beaten a length and a quarter. Actually took the lead at one point in the race and then got ran down by another Chad Brown horse that's in this race, Gina Romantica. Um, now, you might say, well, why don't you go to Gina Romantica here? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, she draws a far outside post. I do not like that going a mile over this track. Number two, she had had some more experience where Faith in Humanity Kind of that just threw her to the to the wolves, so to speak. I think she's got a chance to move forward off of that race. Gina Romantica, I, I think will run well, but I don't know if she's going to move forward off the race and progress. I think Faith and Humanity can. I kind of like this horse here. I think she'll be a little bit of a price. I don't think she will be uh, one of the top choices. So number four, Faith and Humanity for me. I also think the number one Majestic Glory is interesting. This is a horse that I'm hoping will be a little bit of a price as well. The horse comes in from overseas, and Todd Pletcher uh, has the horse with Johnny V aboard in this situation. Look, I've been facing some pretty tough company overseas. Two races back, was third in a grade three race at Newberry. Went to Epsom last time out and was eighth, beaten eight links uh, in another tough grade three race. But look, our group three race, I should say, they're group races in uh, or in uh, Europe and overseas. So, uh, you know, the resume isn't flashy, but... The horses that she's been competing against are tough. Uh, I think coming to the United States will help. Uh, so we'll see what happens with this horse. It's kind of the unknown for sure. Don't love the horses breaking from the rail, but man, Todd Pletcher getting getting his hands on this one. I think we could see some good things from this filly. So I would not be surprised if the number one Majestic Glory comes up and kind of makes a little bit of a run at it down the lane. So on top, number four, Faith in Humanity with the number one Majestic Glory kind of in that second spot. So there it is. That's the preview for the Pebble Stakes Sunday at Belmont Park. Um, good luck, guys. If you're playing that uh, that day, it's got another really good card. They've got back-to-back -back good cards this weekend at Belmont at the Big A. All right, hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell your friends, as Magic would say, and we'll see you at the track.